coming to the home stretch. Can you feel it? Yeah, there's so much going on. I'm so excited. But wait, oh my God, there's somebody in my life who's trying to sabotage me. No, go away. Okay, this is going to be your biggest problem. I'm your biggest cheerleader, but I will venture to say there's somebody in your life who said, oh, really? What are you doing? I don't think you can do that. Ooh, ooh. So you be prepared for people who can do that horrible word, sabotage. And often, there's somebody who love you, loves you, but they don't even know they're sabotaging you. Oh, really? Honey, you gotta eat the cake. What are you starving yourself? Look, you got so thin. I just have a little piece. They love you. They're sabotaging you, okay? You need to identify these people because sabotage people they can be described you know they can be disguised as cute little children mommy why don't you finish what I have on my plate look I have ice cream why don't you finish my lollipop how come you're not having birthday cake can you tell I've got two kids they don't mean to be saboteurs but they can be they could be loving they could be your best friend they could be your husband oh baby you're working so hard you really deserve that drink you really deserve that okay let me share with you Food and drink and those kind of things they're trying to do. If that's your mission, you got to stand up and go, no, 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 no. My treats are something else. Let's go to a movie. Let's go for a walk on the beach. Let's have, let's have a picnic with healthy food. Just be careful. Because they mean well, but there's triggers, and you'll hear them. Ah, oh, come on. It's only one dessert. What's it going to kill you? To me, remember I told you I went to an alcoholic meeting? They don't drink because that one drink can set them off. For a long time as I was transforming my personal body, if I had one bite of cake, I was done. I just wanted the whole cake. If I had one candy bar, I couldn't eat. Now, by the way, there is something to look forward to. I can have a bite of chocolate and leave the candy bar. Most of my clients, most of my friends can't do that. I used to, in the old days, I would hear candy bars call my name. I'm here. Could you eat me? No, no, no. You left half. Why would you leave half? <laughs> that sounds crazy, huh? I'll share another story with you. I had a death by chocolate accident, or near death. I was very, very addicted to chocolate. I'm very addicted to sugar. It seems to have a thing with my body. I was doing stand-up comedy at ski resorts. And one of my sponsors was, I won't name them, but they were a candy bar sponsor that I just loved. This flat little piece of toffee covered with milk chocolate, had like 850 calories a bar. And during my shows, I would toss them out, and I would eat two or three of them a night. They were little. Two or three of them a night, 800 calories, do the math. In two months, I put on 15 pounds. I didn't even recognize myself. The addiction got so bad that one day, I get to Rochester, New York. It's a snowy, cold night. Remember, I'm doing this during ski season. And the score bar, oh, the candy bars are in the back of the car. They're good, trust me, they're good. And I can hear them call my name going, you want me, you want me. I'm like, no, 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 no. I get out of the car. It's late. The parking lot is icy. It's cold. It's snowy. I've been on the road for a while, and I want one. of. I have to have that chocolate fix. I open the, gar the, the, the back of my trunk. Beh behind my skis, under the boots, down there is the candy bar. And I get in there. I can't dig it. I'm trying to dig it. And finally, I grab it, and I grab it, and I pull it. Well, I hit myself in the head. And on the ice, I slipped. I apparently, when I woke up in the emergency room, had a concussion, a scratch cornea, and a candy bar literally stuck in my hands. I told you, near death by chocolate. So I personally know what I'm talking about here, okay? I would have been much better to let somebody else hand out the chocolate. So what and who might your personal saboteurs be? Do me a favor, hide the journal. Don't let them see this, because it's not about negative. You know if it's mom. You know if it's hubby. You know if it's your wife. You know if it's your, just write it down. You got to identify it. You got to get really honest and go, you know, they really do that. I go out, you know, to Mexican restaurants and all my friends are like, hey, you want some chips? Have another margarita. Come on, you want another one. Those people are saboteurs, at least on this program. Keep them as friends, just don't drink with them. Then I want you to list your trigger phrases. I cannot resist. Oh, baby, I made this pie for you. You got to have just one piece. What's it going to hurt? Come on. It's your birthday. You got to have a piece. List the triggers because then you're going to start to hear them. And when you hear them, you're that much smarter. As you can tell, I went through this personally. I had to, this page is so very important to me. It's one reason that it's a day, one of the last days in this. You've done so much work. 
Don't let somebody who loves you take you down a wrong road. I care about you too, and this is a process. We're in this together. I care about your body, your health, your emotional wellness. Watch out for your saboteurs and your triggers. Write it right now.